and welcome to Top Solid 7. Recently, I was browsing the old LinkedIn and I came across a post that I found intriguing. Uh, it was by a guy I haven't spoken to in a long time, but I wanted to give him a shout out here because he brings up a good point. Lots and lots of CAM softwares out there don't take the time to manage machines properly. They act as a tool path in software, not as a manufacturing software. At Top Solid, we believe in controlling the machine and more importantly, allowing you as the user to not only control the machine, but visualize what you're doing along the way. What are we talking about here? In this sample, we're talking about collinear axes. For example, I have a horizontal mill right here. If I go into the test axes on this, okay, it has an X and, F, X and Y axis as you'd expect, but let's talk about the collinear axes. So here you have a Z axis right? Then you have a W axis right here, but you also on this machine have a V axis to extend it out further. Okay, so you have three collinear axes in this case. And what I want to talk about is how simple it is to not only program a machine like this, but to visualize it along the way in order to make sure that you're actually getting the results you want and that you've programmed your part safely. Let's have a look. So here I have a part on my table. It's a dink part. It's nothing special, right? But I have to get into this part and machine this pocket. So let's watch the simulation for this, shall we? So I'm going to turn this on. You're going to see the part position. Now you're going to see my Z axis here position, right? And now we're seeing the, I'm going to pause it, my V axis position. And now finally my W axis position. And this is where the machining is going to take place. Okay, so we're going to helical in and off we go machining. Okay, so of course, Top Solid's checking for collisions during all of this as well. And away we go, cutting this part, controlling three different collinear axes. Again, one axis is live, the other two are just going to be positioned into a specific stick out distance. And when we're done, we're controlling the retracts, sending the tool back safely sending the part back to its home position. So let's take a look at how to program something like this. So I'm gonna delete my toolpath and let's start from nothing, okay? So here, I'm gonna simply select the face to machine. If you've used Top Solid before or seen some of the other videos on it, you're gonna notice that Top Solid automatically finds the WCS solution, okay? This is something that we do better than any product on the market. And how does it do it? It does it based on selecting the face uh, analyzing the kinematic of the machine, the capabilities of the machine, and then providing your toolpath. Okay. Uh, from here, just to simplify things, I'm just going to do this as one depth of cut. Now, from here, the software is trying its best to make safe movement. So it's wrapping to outside the part here, and then wrapping down, boom, returning. However, on a machine like that, that doesn't always work well because you have so many collinear axes. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into our settings, we're gonna to go to our altitudes, and we're going to change our altitudes. So here, I'm gonna to go to an incremental value. I'm gonna set that to two, and I'm gonna do this honestly for all of them. Okay, so I want an incremental value, two, clearance, two, and my final, two. And this will make sense here in a sec. So now you can see those rapids are down inside the part. Beautiful. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna help with that plunge a little bit here. I'm gonna set that to an incremental value as well. Maybe we'll set that to one inch just to trim it up some. Perfect. Now let's talk about the collinear axes. First of all, what axes do we want to drive, right? Well, we wanna drive, I believe, our W, X, and Y in this case. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna to go to my Z and notice this is the first fixed position second fixed position, right? And here, let's try 25. And look, as soon as I type a value, it moves my Z axis into position. And that looks good to me. My arrows here represent the max travel I'm capable of, but I wanna take into consideration that this B axis is gonna rotate, right? And then from here, let's look at our V axis next, and let's try that at 20. Oops, pardon me, that should be a minus 20 in this case. Boom. How about minus 40? Oh, 
too much. I'm over traveling the machine here. Top Solid again always has your back because maybe you have lots of machines that you got to program. It's it's hard to remember what the strokes are in these machines. So let's try minus 35. That looks great. You know, we probably even go to minus 30. Cool. Okay. And now let's click OK and see what happens. Let's start with our simulation. Here you can see it's positioning. Off it's going. Now, from here, the approach move isn't great. And the reason the approach move isn't great is because, again, Top Solid is looking at the clearance envelope and it's doing stuff it shouldn't be doing. Okay? But it's doing it because it's always trying to pick safe moves. So, another beautiful feature of Top Solid is the ability for you to modify what we call link movements. Okay? It's important on machines like this for the operator to be able to set every single movement they want and visually know it's going to do what it's supposed to do. So let's go here, let's go to manual, and let's see what it's doing. So if I drag this down a little bit, if I go to movement coordinates, yep, that's positioning my b-axis to the ending. I like that. Now if we go to here, this is moving w and v and z at the same time. I don't like that at all. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to say, let's only do uh, V. Yeah, let's only do Z. I'm going to turn that to none. Let's only do Z. Okay, so that's going to move this one. And if we back up here, that's going to go to there. Perfect. This security plane movement, we don't need it. So I'm going to delete it. So we go to here. I'm going to copy paste. And now I'm going to move my next axis. And my next axis in this case, this might be my V. Let's see. Perfect. And then here, we can position an XY. And finally, with the W. Okay. So now we have set the movement we want. Let's have a look. Let's refresh that once. So now we're positioning Z. Now we're positioning V. Now an XY. And off you go. Okay. Now, it wouldn't be complete, of course, if we didn't generate some G-code. So let's go ahead and generate some G-code for you. Perfect. And if we go here, you're going to see my Z, my V, and my W's in use. So hopefully this makes sense to you. And you see the value of using a product that is designed to be a manufacturing solution like Top Solid, where we understand it's important that you're able to really control and visualize the entire machining environment during the programming process. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.